course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain. Uh, excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. The asteroid has been named Attila after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. shuttle is up and away. This is not a mission the shuttle was designed for, but as Mission Commander Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night... If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance, and we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Low here. Come on out, kids. The water's fine. Robin's here.
going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You're going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Load a payload, over. Yeah, 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 Boston, I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. Everything fine with the pig, Cora? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. Load a landing team. Let's go check out conditions on the surface. The weatherman called for clear skies, no wind, no rain, no air. Load a landing team. You can't dig with shovels here in low gravity. There's no easy way to get leverage. Besides, we've got the exact tool designed for this job. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brink? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed.
There's a big rock right where I need to plant the nuke. Cora, Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero-G under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't... Shuttle, this is low. This ass... Miles, come in, Miles. Miles here. How can they be so sure the surface won't be radioactive after the explosions? Well, the theory is that without an atmosphere and with so little gravity, most of the radioactive material will be blasted off into space and almost none of it will settle in the safe quadrants. But is the theory right? Hey, you're the guy in the cute suit. You tell me when it's all over. You'll know they were wrong if my coffin blows. Don't worry, Boston. My baby's down there monitoring the surface. We'll know if it's safe before you go back. I sure hope the map was right on the placement of the charges. That was decided by all them geniuses in Houston. Ours not to reason why, ours but to blast and fly. Low, over and out. Load aboard and do your copy. Like carbon paper, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside.